Let me uh, take a couple of minutes of your time to introduce to you the Helmholtz Association of German Research um, Centers. I uh, prepared a couple of slides for that. Uh, so um, basically, the Helmholtz uh, Associa Association is the largest of German um, research organizations. So our mission is to solve major challenges that uh, society, science, uh, the economy and whatnot are facing in the field of um, science and uh, technology. Next slide, please. Okay, yeah, there you go. So um, as I pointed out, we're focusing on the major challenges uh, of society, um, grand challenge, uh, uh, challenges, as you could put it. Um, the Helmholtz Association is endowed by the federal German government with substantial and long-term uh, program funding to pursue uh, these um, um, uh, scientific uh, goals. Um, uh, as pointed out, we are the largest uh, of the research organization players which, within the German system. We rely heavily on, on brain power, so that's where we are talking to you guys. We're trying to get you interested about this organization. We've got a profound uh, expertise in large-scale research infrastructures, so if you're keen about satellite missions, icebreakers, or uh, particle colliders, this is the place to be, as well as um, if you want to toy around with large-scale computer systems. We'll get into more details about this later. We've got a strong international partnership uh, network coming up. Uh, we'll introduce to that to you in a second. So uh, we are actually inviting everybody from every country who is uh, keen about basic science and uh, shaping uh, the world of tomorrow to join us in uh, these uh, big scientific uh, quests. So give me a couple of numbers um, so you can see how big this organization is. So we employ over 40,000 people at the moment. As you can see uh, on the right hand side, numerous of those are uh, actual doctoral scientists, uh, postdocs. So we uh, rely heavily on, on young, talented people to, uh, to get engaged with the programs. And um, uh, we're, we're funded um, by, by the federal government at, uh, at the large part. So the overall uh, budget sums up to over 5 billion euros annually. So there's a lot of resources and people um, uh, to toy around with uh, if you really, really want to get into large scale science. Okay, so as I pointed out, it's an association. So uh, we are the federation of 18 national labs. Uh, you can see them flashed out here over the, uh, on, on the map all over Germany. Um, I'm pretty sure that uh, you heard uh, about some of those. Uh, so the German Aeronautics and Space Center, for example, with the space missions as part of the association, or the German Cancer uh, Research Center, world-renowned uh, oncology sites, and uh, numerous more. Okay, so all these um, uh, centers, uh, they conduct uh, groundbreaking and basic research, and this research is organized in six research fields. So you could get engaged with energy resource, uh, energy um, research uh, like smart grids or solar panels and um, uh, energy systems of the future. We have a lot of uh, things going on in the field of earth and environment. That's your climate research, polar research. We have somebody uh, from that field later on and basically modeling the whole earth system. Very, very exciting. There's the research area of health, uh, so basically focusing on the large diseases. Uh, I mentioned oncology already, so the cancer research, but also infectious diseases, pandemics has become very, very important. Uh, unfortunately, one might add, um, in the last years, uh, so we are very heavily engaged there. We got aeronautics, space and transports, uh, satellites and uh, the earth uh, observation. And then there is the field of matter, that's my old field, that's your basic uh, research in fundamental questions of physics, like how is the matter made up in structures. And uh, then there is the research field of information. So we're basically building large computer systems, quantum computing systems, and we're actually trying to build uh, neuromorphic uh, post von Neumann architectures, basically rebuilding the brain in a machine. Extremely exciting, we've got some scientists from that field coming up next soon. So uh, if you check out all these research areas, it will be very, very clear to you that all of these fields rely heavily on very, very big data, okay? And um, we, said, um, uh, we said together with a lot of experts uh, from all the centers trying to come up with ideas, how can we connect all the brain power utilizing information and data science in all these fields? 
And um, that's when we came up um, with a very German approach to things. We had to form like a think tank, uh, a working group uh, that could uh, formulate some ideas how to connect these fields uh, in the question of these arising technologies. And that is the Hamilton Incubator for Information and Data Science. Um, I was fortunate to, to accompany this uh, think tanks for the last year, and um, they came up with fantastic ideas uh, how to, to shape collaborative um, uh, scientific work um, utilizing uh, artificial intelligence, large-scale analytics, uh, high-performance computing, and so on, to the benefit of all these six research areas that I mentioned beforehand. So this incubator um, uh, designed a couple of structures that we'll see fleshed out now. And um, we build up um, scientific networks um, dedicated to certain questions of the technology, like uh, you can see the Helmholtz AI, obviously uh, taking care of connecting knowledge in the field of machine learning and artificial intelligence. We've got a dedicated platform for imaging technologies, image analysis and computer vision. There is a dedicated platform for metadata and research data management, a field that gets more and more um, uh, important um, the more data we collect. There is a dedicated platform for um, the computing systems and technology systems, um, cloud services and uh, data exchange, the HIFIS, and above all, and that's uh, us today, there's the Hamilton Information Data Science Academy, a training and um, uh, educational network spanning all over Germany uh, and um, we are tasked to, uh, um, to talk to uh, promising young minds all over the globe, that's you, uh, to join um, this framework.